I haven't done one of these PSP hacks um, tutorials, in, tutorials rather, in a uh, in a while. So let's get started. This is how to play SNES games on a 6.20 PSP, PSP Go, whatever, using Half Byte Loader. Before that, let's have a look at a AAA battery. Awesome. Thought I'll just throw that in there. So what you want to do is go to this page, is the PSV Slim Hacks page, download Half White Loader, uh, Pet One 2 demo and the uh, Pet One 2 game save. Make sure it's the USA one, otherwise it won't work. The USA demo. Um, so download them. They will be zipped. They don't they will be zipped but I've already unzipped them for or um, well, if I unzip that one and that one for um, time, and then you want to download this. Just double click on here. When you've done that, you wanna you wanna um, uh, let's see. You want to open the Patapon to zip file you want to copy this folder to this P game right here <clears throat> then you want to uh, go to homebrew loader 85 and you want to copy all of this into the root of the memory stick, just like that, just like that. So you don't need these two anymore. Then you want to copy this, this save data file, this into. PSP and then there should be a folder called save data, just copy it in there. Then last of all, you want to open, open up this one, the Super Nintendo emulator. And copy, and you don't want to open it, you just want to copy this folder to the PSP game folder and onto the PSP. So here's how it works, you get your PSP, what the hell, this ain't a PSP, this is a Game Gear. Yeah, I'm only joking. Let's go on to the PSP, what you want to do is go to game, uh, Go to the yeah. What is it? Try and get focus. Press no. I press yes. Continue X circle Press X again and then you want to press R and it'll load up the half byte loader menu go down to the bottom that there it's for a different video, you probably can't see it anyway. Anyway, load up the Y33 RUK0032, however you pronounce it. I don't know, I'm not Japanese. Um, so you want to load, oh, here's the menu. 
you got save and your ROMs. Um, as always, you should have, you should, you should um, download ROMs you already have, real cartridges like I have here. Super Mario World. I doubt how much you can see that because of the lighting. Whatever. So download your own games you've already got. Don't pirate. Them. So you want to go down to whatever game you got. So press X. Oh no, wait, press Circle to load. As you can see, we're getting lag. So you want to do is go to pull the analog stick to the left. And you, you can't see that, but you want to. Uh, at the moment, at, well, when you first start it, it will be. It will be. It will be normal mode. And then it, this bit, the red, the red bit, it will be. I believe it will be 20, 222, so push the analog stick to the right to get to 333 and then press X to continue and then if you want it full screen just go left again uh, where is it? Uh, fit Full, click on full, and then press X again. Oh, where the hell am I there? <laughs> it's still pretty slow, but you get the idea. Oh yeah. See if we can sort that out. Uh, shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, let's try changing the screen. Back to normal. Shit. Yeah, that... That uh, um, ups the speed a bit, but as you can see, it's not full screen. The rest of your options are. SRAM save starting from the top, save slot, you've got 0 to 7, um, state, save slots to save in, um, state save, state load, state delete, save from now, frame skip, uh, my camera can't see that but you don't need to because you'll be doing this when you do the hack, obviously. Um, auto frame skip, uh, um, screen size, show FPS, frames per second, um, V sync, whatever, sound, obviously you want that one, sound rate, transparency, whatever there is, graphic speed, sound speed, PSP clock, keep that at 333. Key configuration so you can, you know, config your key, sub menu, ROM selector, reset and exit to PSP menu. So if you want to get back to the game, just press left, no wait, right, X rather. And there you are, that's how you play Super Nintendo games on your PSP.